What is good friends, back again with more World Cup action. And we got Reiko from Team Spain versus Sakis from Greece. And you know, we got that fat team, Aloma Mole Suikun. And on the other side we got Vino Stila, they call me the Padlop Special. I don't know if Padlop is still in the call. Yeah, I am. Okay. I am. I think someone else. I think I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this, and I'm liking it a lot. Yeah. Petlop has like the feeling, like he thinks they brought his team to World Cup because his team is like the same with two months different. It's like Tender Cruel over Mantine and like Greninja over Mangazone. No, no, it's just, it's just I have, I have a fucking. Uh, for, let, let, let's say, let's say I have a fetish for Binu Steela teams. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say that. Binu Steela is such a good core. So on, on Padlop's team is a Scarf Lily, which this makes a lot of sense to be Scarf Lily because he has a Mantan to check Volcarona. It's either Scarf Lily or Scarf Chomp, but Scarf Lily and Z-Move Chomp makes a bit more sense. I mean, he doesn't have to be Z-Move Chomp, he can also be Z-Move Magnezone. Padlop uh, runs... Uh, no. On Padlop's team it's Tank Chomp, I don't think it's going to be Tank Chomp on this team. Yeah, it, it is, it's probably Rocks off, like, offensive. Yeah, SD Rocks, maybe. And on the other side, I don't know what to, how to analyze this team. Like it's either Scarf Drill or Scarf Suik uh, Scarf Lari. Oh, oh he misses that, a toxic. That miss, that miss was nasty. That miss was nasty as fuck. That's really annoying for Reiko because I don't think he has anything to get rid of status other than healing uh, Luna Dance from Chris. Yes. So he probably I don't and know. And that was hmm. that was huge because. Uh, I think that Suic that Suicun is maybe rest. It might not be rest because if the Suicun is rest, he should have gone to dead instead. Yeah, no, but uh, but I'm saying maybe he'll. Like, I think maybe, he might be the Wincoon. Like... <laughs> I mean, Alamomola can just try and fish for burn if it's like it should be able to eat up a good, good rain. I can also just go Ladi or drill or what drill? I thought he would go Ladi. Okay, never mind. This guy's flexing out here. Oh, he oh sludge boy. bomb break thing. I think he was trying to poison the crest, or he was trying to catch the hera maybe on a giga drain. So like X to poison here, which is nice. Um, never mind. Oh, oh never mind. I mean, he was ready. He earthquake was ready. for the uh, for the heat runs. Mm, I would maybe. I mean, earthquake is cool, but. I don't think his team has a knockoff user, and I like I like to have a knockoff user most of the time for utility. That was, th yeah, Reiku, Reiku. Yeah, that was a gold play, sludge bomb on the Larry. Like he sludge bombed the Excarill, and knowing he was switching. Whew. So the Celestia is coming out, or the the Magnezone, but probably the Celestia. And he can also go into Tapu Lele. Um, I don't really see Shadow Ball used on Larry. I can. I can see him. I can see him like synthing here, synthesizing. Yeah, that's there's an option. Yeah, because Sack is my double. Like, yeah. Or he just, might trick. He might also he might Draco. Trick. Yeah, he might trick. He might Draco. I mean, trick is if you predict trick, you go in a, in a Lele. If you scarf Lele, that is. Uh, if you predict trick, you stay on Sludge Bomb. Right? I mean, yet it works too, but like Lele is safer overall in case he side shocks. Like that covers yeah. both plays. I mean, no, no. That's why. That's why I'm saying synth, synth here because uh, uh, if it's if it's defensive Venusaur, then like it won't be. I mean, synth is fine if he's like bolt, but like you still take a bit more and you recover, obviously. Yeah. And I think the health on this is nice. Wait, why is this lagging? Yeah, let me start uploading the last game that we get just recorded. I paused the recording. Real quick. Moment, that so moment when I had the, seems a bad version of that. I had the recording on pause, right? And he roosted on a switch to Magnus on it and he showed Earthquake. Whew, not bad. Not bad at all. Padlock falling asleep. Who's meant is this? Ah. Dude, fucking um so I this can th actually see Zack is winning this. Well I thought he would fact this, but uh, he wants to save it as a farer. And it can also still live if he defogs. I mean, yeah, the, the toxic miss on the other was also was really annoying, though. 
Yeah. I mean, he probably won't have HP fire if he shows Earthquake, Roost, and Psyshock. I think if he anything, has. If anything, and Draco? Here, uh, and, and like, in the last and like, if, if, if Suicune, if Suicune is fucking, um, Rescune, then... Oh, never mind, alright. <laughs> I mean, Suicune gets warped by Manta, doesn't it? But the thing is, what is Mantan doing back? So it's gonna be some PP war. To be honest, and, I do not know. And Suicune is the god of PP wars because it has pressure. But if Mantan yeah. if Mantan has haze, it doesn't care if Suicune has a lot of PP. Because <laughs> haze oh, has yeah, 48 PP and it doesn't get affected by pressure. Could not I think like haze on that team. Why would you? No, just just wondering if he has it. I mean, he only has toxic on Stellar Steeler, so he might have not not have toxic on Mantan. It might be haze instead. It's like Scald Roost Defog and then it's either Toxic or Haze, right? Or is there other options? I don't think they run Air Slash ever. Unless you play in a league format and you want to counter team someone who has like four times weak to Air Slash Mons. So this is Mega Hera. He can protect here, but SD would be an option. Yeah, this is kind of a tough turn. I can see him just sacking the Magnezone, to be honest. I don't know <coughs> why it's taking so long. Like, I wouldn't want to switch anything in. Like, you can protect if you want to get more health, if he has it, and sack the Magnezone after. Because um, I don't think it matters if this has SD, because the Lily should just revenge it after anyway, so it doesn't matter if he has D, so I would take the extra 6% leftovers. Okay, wow, well, he wrecked busted in regular form, I think. Why? He, I don't think he would have gotten a Moxie boost if the Magnuson died to rocks, right? Why? The Celestia 6 hours. That's what they're saying. I. I don't get it. Oh, wait. Oh, the bait, the bait. Of course, uh, Shake is talking shit in the in the chat. They're saying, why is he not Mega? I think he just didn't Mega Evolve, because I don't think non-Mega Rock Blast is a set. They're saying he didn't. Eglvank said he didn't CC because of Heavy Slam. Yeah, but I don't know why he stayed in regular form. <laughs> Dude, Padlo, stop falling asleep. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm yawning. Like I mean, if this is sub coon with like, this is gonna be so annoying that PP war shit, be, like PP war between Mantan and Coon. To be honest, don't I do this to me. Like rest coon, it's it's rest coon. I haven't seen rest coon in a while. No, like I haven't seen it in a long what time. What am I saying? What am I saying? You would have gone. Would have gone into it like the last eight. time I've saw I've seen a rescue was in in RS like I don't think I've seen it in Sun and Moon like I recorded oh, a World Cup game where a mount had one didn't ABR use it at one point or Ben Gay because I, th I think one of them did I don't remember I just remember Ben Gay using the sub one like three times or so. But yeah, nice pivot from Kuhn into Drill to get the extra leftovers. Last move on this, yeah, probably Flamethrower. I don't think... Flamethrower or Leech Seed, not sure. Probably Flamethrower because you don't want to get... No, he has a Ferrothorn. Uh, he has a Magnus on the Trap Ferrothorn, so he he might not be Flamethrower. Not 100% sure. He's not. No, he's not. He's not Flamethrower. Why Ooh. Oh, he missed again on the Alamomola, must be nice. That's AIDS, to be honest. But like, if he wants to wish up the Hera, um, he needs to take this Toxic, so, uh, yeah. I think you can just go back into a drill if this doesn't have Flamethrower. <laughs> so, cause to to get Raikou mid, cause if Raikou stays in the toxic again, he goes in the drill. 
He's gonna be like, of course you take advantage of the miss. I mean, they have some like sets that you don't usually see, which like Earthquake Lari, Toxic yeah. Celesteela, and then like Earthquake Venusaur. I think it's pretty interesting as well. Earthquake Venus for Heatran and for what's this thing called? Marowak isn't really used that much, but it also hits that. Yeah, but mainly for Heatran. Oh, by the way, what's this T tar? What it, what's this T tar counter? Which team? Uh, Reikus. I mean, you mean Banta or? Yeah, Banta. I mean, Garchomp is his best check, I guess. But that but doesn't it, want to switch in. It still gets crunched. It, and it's offensive. I, no, I didn't say this is a switch in. I'm wait, just... wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Why didn't he toxic there? Hmm. Strange. So the Hera is gonna come out here. I don't know if it dies to Sludge Bomb. Oh, it's a 21. Never mind, it dies to Sludge. So it's not gonna come out. He's probably gonna go Egg Will to get the Wish. Yeah. You definitely don't go Hera then if you're that low. Uh, Ladios would die to a Sludge Bomb. I would not go to that. That boy, that boy didn't say I'm not watching these fat teams and left the call. What a ho what a scumbag. <laughs> Go to X schedule already. Dude, there's no time on it taking forever. Yet yeah, people always bring Suicune versus Spain for some reason. I think they brought it like twice versus Axel 10, but he just won anyway, he didn't care. I mean if they if they wouldn't play that slow the game wouldn't be that like the game would be fine, but they're just taking forever. Oh wow, he just said, I'm going for the Skull Burn, okay? And he didn't get it. Is he just, is he gonna protect or wish again, or is he just gonna go Chris? Cause... No, he can stay in, he can stay in, he's at full. Like, Giga Drain doesn't do that much. G Giga Drain bounces off if Slash Bomb only does 29. Giga Drain might do like 52 or something. So he probably has some spadev on this. Hmm. Padlock, that boy's eating in a bag or what you doing? No, no, I'm eating, I'm eating Oreos. Best thing ever. Oh, no wonder that boy isn't narrating the game. Okay, that, hmm. but that, that Giga Drain had nothing, but... That literally bounced off. He, he's not getting the burn. He's gonna protect it to get the leftovers back. And even a critical hit would be um a critical hit would be a roll to kill this, so I think it's safe to go for wish again, right? Cause you not only would he have to get a oh, crit no. to kill. Oh no. I mean he can also go Cress, but It's Cress to play though, because if it gets poisoned X. I mean, yeah, but if Alo gets poisoned, it's also annoying. So the Cresselia, I assume it's either T-Wave or Toxic, and Psychic Step and Ice Beam. Like, this is the... This guy actually has two ways to check Zygarde, or three ways. He has Mega Heracross. Yeah. Like, that can switch into Zygarde, and this can switch on T-Arrows. A Loma Mola is looking like a bit more spadef, so maybe not the best switch into Bandit Zygarde. And but yeah, Chris can definitely switch in. I assume he bricked this as Celesteela. Yeah. 
But he doesn't want to let this get poisoned, so I'm not 100% sure what he's going to do here. I'd I'd have you slam here. Oh, breaking the Hera? I think I think Toxic, you don't lose anything from Toxicing. I guess you lose 1 PP. <laughs> no, I was like, uh, just get damage off on Exca so you kill with, uh, so you 100% kill with Earthquake. So that like, um... It's a 50-50 if he goes into E. Like oh, I didn't think he was going Excadro. Oh wow, he does. Okay, guess I'm bad. Of course, of course he does. Like, I thought it was a bit too obvious. I don't know. Yeah, like the, the Almond would have been toxic ages ago if he didn't dodge. Did he dodge twice? Doc, 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 I I gotta go right now. Um, I'm just I'm just going to eat dinner right now. Yeah, All bye. Right, um, bye. See, see you later. Goodbye. Okay, okay, so we gotta narrate this alone. He toxic trying to catch. Um, did he try to catch the Mantine? I'm not sure. Some sort of switch from Reiku's side. And this time, Reiku just says, I've had enough. We're cooking Toxic again on the Alamola and we're catching that and we hit. <laughs> and the other chat is going wild when Reiku makes a good play like that. Holy shit, Shake is going in on this guy. I mean, now he can just go for Scald and try to burn something. The last move is probably Toxic or Knockoff. And I don't think Reiki would go into Manta and, and like even potentially get Toxic. So yeah, you either Scald or you wish there. And he can try to um, burn the Venusaur once again because <laughs> he doesn't have good switches. Like if he goes Crest, he risks getting poisoned once again. I mean, he will eventually have to risk that. Or he can either sack the Herak. Like after you scald this turn, you scald right. And after that, you either sack the Herak Cross or you go Crest. But he just goes hard Crest. I mean, Slashbomb doesn't do that much, so I thought he would try to Skull Burn this first, get the Wish with the Allo, and then switch into Chris, but I guess this works too. Doesn't Sela Sela come in every time this Crusader gets sent out? Like, It's still at full, like, Rocks don't really hurt that much because he has lefties and he doesn't really care, and he has Protect 2, if I recall correctly. When Venus Silas Soul is your whole team. Yeah, if you play Padlop, you will, you wanna be prepared for Venus Stila, trust me. That boy loves his core. He almost won like a Smogon tour, like a week of Smogon tour with Venus Stila. I think he got a little bit lucky, but still. I mean I can Reiku, I can see Reiku going for synthesis, but why would you not go in this Cresselia? Like, Cresselia is pretty much free here. I assume Sakis is gonna go back. Back into his um, Alamomola because he wants to try and burn something. And I don't think he has anything to, like, offensively pressure Reiku bringing out the Salastila. So he's Ice Beaming, what? What does that accomplish? Are you trying to get the freeze? That's so weird, dude. Did he try to like do chip damage to the Celestila? I don't. I'm not really sure why he made that play. Like Ice Beam wasn't gonna do anything. Is this game even a real fight? I mean, yeah, like Reiku should win this, but it's not over yet. I don't know why. He like, we don't know yet. I 
I love how Zemrock says that bounce bounces back. Like Zemrock would play the song that would play his song. Oh not his song but from that rapper. Where there's a coon there's a way. I don't know, maybe he's trying to pee pee stall the Venusaur. He already like used half of his sludge bombs. Yeah, he protects. Now he's gonna wish or go back into Cress. I mean, on these fatter teams, I say this like almost every single time I see a fat team. I don't like it if you don't have a cleric, like a heal bell user. Even though I use um like maybe not as fat as this at the moment, but I also use like fatter balance. And I don't use it with like a heal bell user, but a team that's as fat like as this, I would prefer to have like a Clefable with heal bell or something like that. If you can fit it on. Um, like we were talking about earlier if the Suigun would be rest, I don't think it is. Cause like if the Suigun like subs down and loses health, I assume it's gonna be a sub -coon. Then he has Alamomola to wish it back up. I think that makes some sense if I look at the team. I mean, yeah, he's just switching between Crest and Alamomola, and because Alamomola has regenerator, Crest doesn't take much from this, and like, basically, he's hoping that his Crest never gets poisoned if it switches in, and he has, yeah, he has eight sludge bombs left still. I mean, yeah, he doesn't have Duck Trio, but he, ha like, they were talking about this in the chat, but he has uh, Earthquake on his Lari. To hit Heatran, which is like kind of obvious if you look at the team. I mean, it's not super obvious, but Heatran seems really annoying to the team. Like only Heracross has to be um, speedy, and most Heracross want adamant because Jolly Heracross is like too weak to break break bulky cores. I think. Yeah, that's just my opinion. So. And I, also, what I, from what I've seen in, turn, in like in general, like Heracross, I think most of the time runs Adamant. So like that means that you might be slower than Heatran, and so that means that you only have Drill to. I don't even know if Drill would outspeed max speed Tran. So the team is really annoyed by Tran. So the Earthquake on the Lali makes a lot of sense. But yeah, he's just gonna make keep doing this. Now he goes back into Alamomola because this is not weakened enough where you forced to go for Moonlight. I think I'm pretty. He went for Moonlight. I don't think that was the play. But he didn't get poisoned there, so now he can go back into Alamomola. Like 66% is not that unhealthy. I think it would would have been fine to switch back into Alo. And the next time he would have gotten hit, he would have been at around half, and then he could have gone for Moonlight, but it's fine. He breaks the Alo, goes for Giga Drain, it still doesn't do anything. So he's gonna protect or go back into Kress. Um he's in the range from a crit, so I wouldn't stay in here. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, I would at least go back in the Cress here. <laughs> this is not really the most interesting game, I hope that it... Like, that we make some progress eventually, and not that it just keeps switching. The thing is, like, the monster pressure the Venus saw offensively, like, the Ladi, they can't really switch in on it, because Ladi is low. And Ladi will also give the, the Celestial every switch in. Like like Zemmuk uh, said it in the chat, if there's a coon, there's a way. Like I don't see how LC can come back, but that would also end in a PP stall war. It would like take forever, cause the Mantan walls the Suicune would water absorb, so it can't even get burned. Yeah, the Suicune could win otherwise if the Mantan wasn't there. He does slash on predicting the crest. This guy's in this Reiko is in this guy's head like. He Giga Drain predicting the other to come back out, the Sludge Bomb predicting this to come back out, and he did, he did get the poison now. I don't know if he doesn't have T Wave or if he just doesn't want to T Wave this Venusaur. I'm thinking he doesn't have it at this point. As yeah, he's gonna Moonlight here probably. That's a free Celestia. 
Okay, my man BTP told me. Yeah, yeah, we will record the Brofist game. I'll add him to call. If I don't forget. Like, I hope the Brofist game doesn't start at the same time. I prefer to not have multiple games in one video. But it's about, like, it will eventually happen because there's, like, there's 73 games left that have to be played today and tomorrow. And, like, eventually, like, games will just happen at the same time and there will be, like, even four, five, six games at the same time. Uh, so I will probably only focus on... If there's multiple games going on, like I always do this, I will focus on the Sun and Moon game. But yeah, if, if there's like two games going on and one game is stall, I might try to like I might focus on the other game. But we will see when that happens. At the moment, there's thankfully there's only one game, right? Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's a Gen Five game, but I don't really cover Gen Five. I only upload some of the Gen Five games because I don't know everything about that tier. So yeah, Leech Seed is a bit is like nice and all that, but this is still gonna take a while. Uh, but the poison on Cresselia is obviously really helpful. So like. Like three of his mons are poisoned now and Hera is really low already. I mean, to be honest, I don't see Sarkis coming back now that I look at this. Like if I look at how healthy his team is and what he has. Like he doesn't have anything to like offensively pressure the Celestila. Yeah, he can try to Scald burn it, but Reiko will not allow that to happen. Like Reiko has literally like no reason to stay in on a skull ever with Celestina. He goes hard guard jump. Not sure if he predicted the X schedule, but it's looking like a complete god here. If this is SD jump with um Z outrage, I can see him going for SD here. And Sarkis is either... If if he predicts like the Earthquake slash SD, he can go Hard Ladios. That's another option. But Hard Ladios doesn't even do anything because he just goes back into Celesteela then. That's the thing. And he does make the Hard Ladio play on the rocks. Yeah, rocks makes a lot of sense there. That's actually the best option in that scenario because you gain something out of the turn no matter what he does. Because if he goes crest, like you don't have to SD up. He could also be rocks 3 attacks, but I'm thinking he's SD 2 attacks with rocks. And yet a lady. Is Scarf is what I'm thinking. I mean, he could technically be Scarf Rock's Chomper, but I don't think that's the case. Like, when you when you have a Manta, and I 100% I agree, like, that you Scarf Lily, like, you can afford to run Scarf Lily then, obviously. So this time he goes Lily on the Latios on the Roost. So this is probably, I don't know, is it Expert Belt? Is it Soul Dew? I mean, he didn't. He only showed Psyshock as a step so far. I don't know if he will have Draco. I'm assuming he also has Draco, so Soldu would make sense, yeah. But I haven't clocked any damage. And I assume he's gonna sack off his Larius here, or he's. Because I don't think he can go hard in the drill. Like, he doesn't have good switch ins to Moonblast. Cresselia might be able to switch him, but it's gonna take poison and rocks. And it's gonna be, like, super low and forced to Moonlight and all that. And Moonblight only has so many PP left, like, six or something like that. Damn, this game is gonna take forever. I, I mean, I assume in like 20, 20 minutes it might be over, but it's still gonna take a while. Yeah, he goes in a crest. I assume he just Moonblast you, right? You don't have to predict. It doesn't do it KO, but it forces him to click uh, Moonlight. Like, see, he only has 6 left. I mean, you can even Moonblast again to like, to make Sakis click 
Like if you Moonblast again, you make him click Moonlight again, basically. So, yeah, exactly. There's also the chance of getting a crit. So now he has to Moonlight again, which means you can... You either just spam it again, the Moonblast button, or you go into... Solar Stealer. Yeah, like Raku doesn't really have to send out his Mantine or anything so far. Like, I think Raku is fine with rocks being on both sides. Like, Salas Dealer has one example that doesn't really care about rocks with the Protect Leftovers combination. Two um, turns of lefties will heal back the damage that Stealth Rock has uh, done to him. So now he's switching to Celestia because he knows that. Ooh, it reveals the T wave. Okay, so I thought he didn't have it. Because, yeah, I was about to say that the turn he might not go for Moonlight, that's the turn he might attack or status move. So I'm thinking that he might have predicted a Toxic to come out. I don't know if he predicted a T wave, but. I mean, if it comes down to, to like a PP stall war, the T wave might even help Raikou. Because if on a turn that you get paralyzed, you save PP. Like let's say this so you can call mines up. Then he just goes Mantan, right? And on one turn with a Suicune obviously wants to go for Scald because there's a Mantan in, so he that doesn't really do anything for him. He can potentially go back to sell a Stealer. But yeah, I don't think the I don't think the power will help him in that sense. But it's also not the end of the world. Is he gonna leech seed? He did not reveal his last move yet, right? Oh, he did reveal his entire move set. Never mind. It, it was leech seed? When did he reveal that? I did not realize that he already revealed that. Yeah, this <laughs> game kind of makes me want to go to sleep. Uh, big. I don't know. I don't know if anyone is watching the entire game. The entire video, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But I don't think there's other games going on. Like, if they would at least play fast, this would be completely fine with me. But they're playing kind of slow, there's no timer. This didn't reveal the last move yet, still thinking it's toxic. But you're like... Yeah, knock of ult makes some sense. Um, I assume he's just gonna go Venusaur here. Oh, he can go. He can go Salastila, because Salastila can't get burned anymore because it's paralyzed. Yeah, see, the para is nice in that sense that you can't get burned by Alamomola anymore. Like, it's not like Skull does any damage from Alamomola to Celestila. Maybe it does the same damage that Leftovers will heal back, something like that, but like, not, not much more. Okay, so the last move was Toxic. And, I don't know, he either predicted the Garchomp to SD or stay in or, some, like, stay in or something like that, or you predicted the Mantine. But yeah, you either go Venusaur or you go Celestila there. Completely understandable. Do you just click Giga Drain now? He did heal up as Larios. He clicked off quick, so he was trying to catch the Actrill on the switch, I assume. Maybe he was also pred um, predicting a potential protect from the Alamomola. He didn't want to waste another Giga Drain. That might be an. Um, yeah, that might be the case. Celestia waltz this unless the last move is Thunderbolt or Thunder, but even that wouldn't like Thunderbolt wouldn't do too much, especially like regular. Oh, it, it could be Z Thunder, I didn't think about that. He did not show Z move yet. I was thinking this is a soul dude the entire time, but it could be Z move. 
Did he show his move? No, he didn't, right? Fuck, now I'm tired too, man. Blame Padlock because he was yawning earlier. It's kind of hard to, like, <laughs> narrate this game with some sort of excitement because this game just isn't that exciting because, like, it's still going on. And, like, if, if you would at least play fast, my guy, something would happen. <laughs> it's fine. I'll, I'll deal with it. I mean, his excludal is getting worn down. So, like, how I see this, like, Saga's team, like I said it earlier, three of his monsters are already status. His team is, like, getting chipped down and stuff. Even though he has Wish and Almomola. Like, Regu's team just seems way health, like, way healthier. And it seems like Regu is playing, like, really smart. The way he keeps his Pokemon healthy. Rapid Spin gets rid of the seeds, that's pretty nice. And so I guess Sakis gets more lefties here because it's got paralyzed. I assume he went just for Heavy Slam to weakness Excadrill a little bit, but yeah, it did not work out because he got parried. And yeah, he's just gonna throw in the Almomola, I assume. I mean, he can stay in and if he has Iron Head and try to flinch this to get more lefties back, but I don't think that's the play. And his last move might also be Earthquake. So if his last move is off, like he can't touch this, he already got rid of the hazards, and his hazards are still up, so this x has nothing to do with the Saddle Stealer. So I would just go, yeah, Almola, or... No, you don't want to go Suicune if this has, yeah, this show Toxic, exactly, you don't want to go Suicune then if you don't have Rest, and if he had Rest on Kun, he would have gone to it earlier instead of Almola, especially after the Toxic missed on the Almomola. And, like, he already knew that this was half Toxic, right, because he missed it on the Almomola, because... Uh, so after the first time he missed it, he would have obviously gone Suicune instead. If he had rest on Suicune, but he obviously doesn't have it. Like, that would just confuse me if he had it and didn't go to it. Yeah, 56 turns, still 6 months. And also, they play so slow, like that on top of that. Let me close my window. Why is it that my window doesn't want to be closed? <laughs> yeah, Toxic is... was already shown. I don't know what he predicted there. Did he predict some sort of double switch? I don't know what Reiko would double into. Like... Maybe Re maybe he was predicting Reiko to double, predicting the album Mola to come out. But... If he doubles into Alma Mola... Wouldn't he, wouldn't he go to Venusaur? I don't really understand what he's doing, like... He, so, like, he's lead sheeted, so staying in and spamming Toxic doesn't help you. Yeah, like, this is weird. What is he say, uh, saying Exca for his old stealer? Okay, he finally realizes it and goes Alamomola. See, this is one parallel that could've, that, like, kinda helps Reiku, because he probably went for Heavy Slam that turn. And it wouldn't it would have done not much at all to this. So saving the PP is cool in that sense. Like Reiko's team besides the Magnezone is like super healthy. In a Suicune we go. I mean, if it's the the wind coon, it stalls out the Venusaur out of Giga Drains. He already used up some Giga Drain PP, so he only has like six Giga Drains versus the Suicune, thanks to pressure. I mean, if he didn't have the Mantine, like the Suicune would be scary, but he does have a Mantine, so. Man, cool. like this makes the game unnecessarily long. <laughs> that the Suicune like might have, that like, Reiku might have to PP stall the Suicune. 
which makes the game so unnecessary long with Lord. Yeah, it's a subset as I expected. He's gonna protect here. Get some more leftovers. And he does... Does he predict that? Like, I'm pretty sure it's just a set that I was expecting the entire time. The Wincoon set. I don't know if he's gonna defog here. Yeah, okay, he decides to defog. <coughs> I mean, let the Suicune set up. What is this gonna do? Like, you just... You just go back to Manta now. He's not gonna scald, that's way too obvious that you go back to Manta in there. I'm not sure if he has haze on this, but if he has haze, like I said earlier, this has a lot of PP to spend. Because haze doesn't get affected by pressure. So yeah, Suicune is not winning this game. Because he can infinitely switch between Manta and Celesteela. Because, um, yeah, this is perfectly played. He just goes back into Mantine. And, like, the thing is, because of the haze, the Scald won't do any damage to the Celestealer if he, if he keeps pivoting back and forth. Because otherwise, if this would get to plus 6, he, could, he couldn't really pivot around. But yeah, Sarkis realizes that there's no point in doing it. He goes an Excrude rule, and he's gonna try to, um, Toxic this. Or he's gonna go Alamomola here. Not wanting to take a skull, but I think he just made that double into Excadrill to get the leftovers. And to yeah, and to threaten this with a toxic, because if if this gets toxic, the Suicune actually wins. So yeah, yeah never mind. This is Reku's forced out here because he doesn't have heal or anything like that to get rid of toxic, so he cannot stay in here. Uh, he's just gonna go Celestia or Magnezone on the Stealth Rock. So now this is trapped, um, but I'm pretty sure it has something to like kill this. Yeah, the drill is faster. Like, e I think even Iron Knight would have killed at 2%. So I don't know if that was necessary. Couldn't he have just gone into Celestia instead and keep that at 4? Uh, I don't think it makes a big difference because it's not like Magnuson was doing much that game. So you're finally making some progress. One mount finally went down. And I can see, oh wow, he just goes for rocks. And he does miss a toxic, which is, I mean, Regu did miss two toxics on Alamomola earlier, so I guess you can say justice, kinda. But that definitely sucks because now you get up the rocks again, and he's definitely. Like, he's either gonna Earthquake or SD here, is what I'm trying to say. Like, I can see Sack is just going into the Cresselia now, predicting the Earthquake. But if he has these up, he gets a kill here with the Z-Move. Like, maybe he doesn't have... Maybe he doesn't even have to SD up. Like, Z-Move kind of just killed something. Um, obviously, if you have Z-Arvich, you're not going to click it on the Excadrill. You're going to save it for something else. But yet, I'm just say speaking in general. Because, like, Sack is only has Larios to outspeed this guard jump. Like, his team is kind of slow. So that, yeah, like, T-Wave makes sense on his team now that I look at it. I don't know what, what is going on with the Heracross, if it's Mega or Scarf or something. It didn't Mega evolve earlier. So I guess if it's a random Scarf Hera, he does have some sort of speed control, but I don't think it is. I guess T-Wave Cress is to help versus stuff like um, Volcarona. A lot is also a decent check for Volcarona. Because they don't really run Bug Buzz at the moment. I've, I mean, I've seen ABR use Z Buck Buzz, but I don't really see it other than that. Oh, Shake's game started? Oh, God. So this is Gen 6 World Cup. This is um, Shake It Up. He's on US East. He's 1 and 1 at the moment. And I don't know his opponent. I think he's on Team Greece. I'm actually not sure, but uh, he brought Patompas. It's uh, still, it's still legal in Gen Six. I think it only got banned in. It only got banned in Gen Seven. 
So we have like some bulky of some balance bulky offense, more balance. Versus baton pass. So this is basically um substitute scully beat and you pass speed into like Telgo Manaphy with Citrus Berry so you can take a hit. Like this is really bulky Manaphy with HP investment. I think it's modest too. Oh never mind, that was a game from earlier. Yeah, he does go hard for the Z move and he had hard devastating Drake. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going back to this game now, just looking at the turns real quick. Okay, that's all we missed, so we basically didn't miss anything. I'm pretty sure this game is not for World Cup. And yeah, I don't think Red Max is in World Cup. Yeah, I can see him going for like SD or something. He can also just click off quick. So that's still a team preview. <laughs> In a Cresselia, he goes on the earthquake. Understandable just playing it safe. Like if you SD there and hit Alamola goes for Toxic or Scald, it could be annoying. And Cresselia is not really a problem because Moonlight is at 3 PP. And you can just switch out. Um, I think the last move is going to be Toxic, but I still wouldn't risk the Manta. I would probably just go back into Celesteela. So he just leads out with a Scully Pete here and he's just gonna click protect or substitute. Uh, probably the substitute in case this is rocks. Um, I think it's gonna be SD, Gliscor, Stealth Rock, Heatran though, and maybe Spikes on this and Whirlwind on the Skarmory. Uh, Megalopony, pretty standard fake out, high jump kick and stuff. Return and Ice Punch. Sometimes they carry Power Up Punch. A uh, Weavile, which is most of the time Choice Bennett or Life Orb. Amongus is just to help with the kill your weakness. Uh, have a nice regenerator on, and then sometimes they run double spore. And he has taunt Glisco, which is really huge in this matchup. So maybe he doesn't have SD. Maybe it's just taunt knock off earthquake roost, which is like really nice was a stall. But it actually it also gets PB stalled was a stall. But it's just really nice um, was like balance. They're saying just leave. Did they, did someone say counter team? Oh my lord, he has U-turn too. I did not see that one coming. I thought he had uh, Earthquake, Knock of Roost and Taunt. Taunt, U-turn, I've seen that set once, like, in some team that peaked number one. So he just went Venusaur on this. As the went for Moonlight, that's all that happened. They're playing so slow that we can afford to watch this Auroth game without missing anything in the other game. So that helps me, I guess, to like, yeah. <laughs> Have a game to talk about because the other game was really going on slow. I think he's gonna go Weavile or Heatran here. So, like I was talking about the Mungus, sometimes they run Spore and Stun Spore. Uh, you can paralyze something with Stun Spore, which can be really nice um, for your slower Pokemon like Skarmory. Uh, potentially if the Heatran is bulky and slower, it can be nice for that so they can outspeed Pokemon or they can potentially get paralyzed the opponents. But yeah, sometimes it's just one Spore plus um, Sludge Bomb, Clear Smog Giga Drain, or like instead of Sludge Bomb they run um, HP Fire sometimes. Did he just click Giga Drain here? Yeah, yeah he just clicked Giga Drain. So the, Crest is, uh, the Suicune is getting weakened now. So Xarkis only win was poisoning the Mantine and then winning with Suicune, but it's not it's not gonna happen. Like let's be honest, this this game is over. Is this like the new trend that people take forever in their games now? Cause it's a bit annoying, but <clears throat> at least there's a time on this game, so they're not gonna take forever forever. They're just gonna take a little bit longer. Cause eventually a timer's gonna go quite low and then they're forced to make a play. Like let's say the timer goes down to 30 seconds, then he makes a play, so his timer will only go back up to 50 or 60 seconds. I don't think he will. Yeah, I don't think it will go back up to 240 then. 
So yeah, I just decided to make the Wii Well play. If he predicts the mana fee, he can click knockoff. Because the mana fee is bulky, it will eat up the Icicle Crush pretty well. The Zapdos is not lefties. I'm not even sure. Maybe it's some life up Zapdos. I assume it's some offensive Zapdos. It is pressure. Um, I don't think he would have a defog on this type of team. He just went for protect to waste some PP. I don't think he would go for Giga Drain because the protect is quite obvious. Yeah, yeah you want to be like careful with your Giga Drains because you only have seven, which means you have four with the Suicune because it has pressure. I mean, if you weaken your Suicune even more, like this, yeah, this game is over. Like, like it doesn't matter if he switches or stays in. Like, he can't win this. Keeps making the Earth pick play. Wait, they're saying Shake Gold. What happened? He doubled out into Humongous and he went for Heat Wave. Um, I assume he just predicted that we will to go for Knockoff or Pursuit. Because you on Isaac Crash, I don't think he would stay in, right? So that did a good amount to the Mungus. But um, like I said, I assume it's offensive Zapdos. We don't see a life orb. Not sure about the items. The moves don't exist. This is Gen 6, right? Yes, it is Gen 6. Just making sure. Like I knew Shek was playing in Auras. But I just wanted to make 100% sure that I'm not saying anything wrong. Uh, I can see him going in the heat train here. And you already know if the if the heat is uh, taunt too, the chat is gonna go wild. Counter team, who brings this? Ooh, Gliscor on the T bolt. I'm I'm pretty sure this has HP eyes too, because speed pass into Zapdos. Like you want the coverage of all those moves. So into Lottie he goes. Did he slash bomb predicting that? Really nice play by Reiku. And he gets the poison. I mean. This speeds up the game a little bit. t bolts man, oh man, oh man. Predicting him to scout for HPIs, that was a nice play. But it still didn't do that much. Not sure if this would be three attacks with Roost. Because agility, usually I would assume agility, but he has like speed pass, so I don't know if he would be agility then. Hard on the top of Lily on the roost. And yeah, he just clicks Moonblast here because like Almomola is kind of low and the rocks and rocks up and it's poison, same with Cress. So I guess he can sack the Heracross. I don't think he really wants to switch the Cress in. Cause it has like almost no moonlight left. He's just gonna go for rocks. He goes for lava plume. He's smart. He's smart. I just said, is he gonna go for rocks as, as if there's no Espeon? But yeah, <laughs> I was just with my mind in the other game and I didn't even, like, I completely forgot about the Espeon. So you obviously. I mean, he could still go for rocks, but him not to not go Espeon. Isn't the Espeon sometimes leftovers on these type of teams? No, I think it's not. Nah, I think it's some berry. At least in Auras, uh, in Sun and Moon, it was this berry that boosts the defense if you go to like 25% or something like that. So that gives you like, it boosts your defense and you can boost your spadev with Calm Mind. And it also powers up stored power. But it's a reflect that's really interesting. Does it? So it's not stored power then. It's just a screens team. So man, if you can set up Tail Glow, maybe Heracross can set up SD. Maybe that um, some Pokemon can't break Skull to be substitute if you have screens up. So I assume it's gonna be Light Clay then. That just makes the most sense to me. And if he gets like a low roll, maybe the next level plume doesn't even kill if he goes for Light Screen here. But I think he wants this to die to have as many screen turns as possible for the rest of his team. So they still didn't make, didn't make the play in the other game. Uh, like, it's pretty obvious that Rick is gonna click Moonblast here, right? Like, what does he lose from clicking that? Um, I mean, I can understand that he's thinking about what he wants to sack and like he's trying to see when how he can come back, but I don't think there's a way to come back. 
He took Psychic. I think he didn't lose anything for Moonblasting, but it's fine. Psychic would have done more to Excadrill, so I assume he predicted the Excadrill there, right? I don't know if it would have to it KO'd the drill. Might. It has Morning Sun. Um, so Morning Sun double screens. What is the last move? No idea. Why is it off? Put it back. Someone turn off the timer. So the crest is gonna moonlight up, free switch into Celesteela, and he's just gonna leech seed something. And a Zapdos on a U-turn. You can go trend to get more lefties, yeah. Just Lava Plume again, yeah. Because you can potentially get a burn on something and you don't want to have the rocks get bounced back. The thing is if he kills this Espeon, he gets trapped by Duck Trio. I'm not sure if he, oh if he got the burn there, the SPM would have been dead. Do we have gotten trapped by Dougie? I don't yeah, we already know he's a lefty strand, so he's obviously not Shed Shell. But it's funny how I can narrate this game and like chill and like not even worry about the other game. Like I won't miss anything because they're playing so slow. I will only miss one or two turns. He heavy slams, oh, that's fine. I think I would have leeched, but it's, it doesn't really matter. And Momola's really low, so like hazards and poison doing the work Mega Medicine looks kinda cool like really looks really good versus Reiko's team it's not that it auto wins but it looks really threatening but yeah this is just like the balanced team that had a tough matchup versus Medi like you obviously know kinda know what your opponent might bring in World Cup so If you like no like if you're pretty sure that he won't bring a Medicham, why not bring a team like this? Uh, also Kyurem is another thing, like if Kyurem comes in on on like Venusaur it might be really scary or if it comes in on Mantine. But I don't know if like Reiko keeps predicting him, but he I think this is the second time he got in the guard shop on a double on a drill. But I it's I think it's not even that like the play makes a lot of sense because he wants to get his region back and he also wants to get lefties on this. I think rocks don't even do much at all to this. It's like four times resisted. I don't know if rocks do the same amount of leftover seal or if they even do less. But yeah, this is kind of a 50 50 between SDing because if you SD, if you SD you, and he goes crest, you get a kill. But if he stays in and toxics you, it's gonna be annoying, so you might wanna off quick here if you're Reiku. Um, I think I would just off quick because he doesn't really have a reason to predict anything. If the Laddie comes out, he can just switch out into the um, Celesteela, so I agree with just off quaking there, yeah. So what happened in this game? Hard into Weavile. So Lava Plumped this, and then he went Weavile on the Morning Sun. And then he pursued it to 56% Espeon, catches it with the pursuit. <laughs> I had to say catch in the chat, of course. Wait, if this is banded, right? Well, now the Skullipid gets a free substitute, or you can go Dougie and trap this, but I don't. I think he wants a free substitute with Skullipid, right? Because behind a Reflect Up, Pursuit shouldn't do much. Like with a Reflect Up. I assume Raikou's gonna switch out here because it obviously has ice beam um yeah this is a free switch into celesteela slash venusaur man oh god the video is almost one hour already Whew. why do they do this to me yeah he goes duggy which is like you either go duggy or you go scully pd yeah, two options substitute duggy well i mean 
That powers up his reversal. But um, I think Earthquake twice would have killed this anyway. Um, Dougie only has 80 attack in Auras, right? I think it's 80. But yeah, reversal blows this be well away, and I can see him going to Glisco or Law Bunny here. Glisco would be able to click U-turn. Like obviously, you you could run the Kalk if you don't kill the Dougie. Otherwise, I wouldn't make that play. I mean, I don't see him losing too too much from going Lop uh, Lopani. Yeah. What happened in this game? He just went Venusaur on the I assume. Oh, he doubled out. Okay. But Venusaur's earthquake so it beats the Exca one on one. I mean, I think it would beat it one on one no matter what, because Exca can't really touch this. Like earthquake from Exca isn't gonna do too much. I think this is like more of a bulky drill. And even if it's max attack, like Venusaur eats up earthquake like. Venus are super bulky if it's bold. They he said I'ma leave now, what happened? Oh I think they were talking about this game. I was about to say did he leave because of this game? Did someone get crushed? So I decided to go scouring and get up a spike, which is fine. Pretty much most of the monsters were fine to send out. The only one that you didn't want to send out there was obviously Heatran on a doggy. <laughs> yeah, I assume that he's just gonna go Heatran here. But he still has to fear that the... I don't think it would double into Duck Geo here ever because he can also go in, in, in a Gliss score potentially. So doubling in the doggy, I don't think it's the play on this specific turn. But if you get a doggy double correct on a Heatran, that's obviously nice. Just don't think this is the turn to make that play. The yeah, Ice is trying to catch the Gliscor. Mm -hmm. So this is um, understandable by Shake. Revealing HPIs means that he might be tempted to not go Gliscor and go Guard Jump uh, Heatron instead. And he could potentially pull a double into Duck Tree if he predicts that later on. But Heatron is just gonna um, Lava Plume here or Toxic if he has it. And yes, he, did, he still didn't make a move. Almola's too too low. I assume it dies to um, Giga Drain plus Toxic. So I just don't know how Sakis can win this game at all, like the other game. Yeah, some people had them confused, but it's pretty obvious that this is Shake It Up. Because this is this is the avatar that he always uses. Why do both games like you just don't make a move? You could lava bloom or toxic, dude, like it's not that hard. Oh it's Shake's time always running down. Okay, okay, my bad. Yeah, I can understand that he's in the kind of tough position. He just went for Earthquake to get off some chip damage and he's gonna lose his x roll and the Venusaur is still at 65. So, like, this Venusaur is still pretty healthy and he can just go back Celesteela on this Lati. I assume he's gonna roost here, expecting the Celesteela switch. But not like Reiko loses anything, this is still poison and on the timer. So this is fine. Why am I lagging now? This is not what I wanted. It's just T-Bolts. Did he Toxic? He just got up his rock, so you can see his Hazard stacking him. If this has defog, this is gonna be funny, but I don't think it will be defog. He goes for heat wave, and there was a potential roll to kill the Mungus. How much did it do earlier? Might have not been a roll. I assume that he might have predicted um, him to go for T bolt on the Mungus because he has a heat run in the back, and that's why he might have stayed in with the Mungus. He does not get the burn. He also doesn't show toxic. I don't know if he doesn't have it then. But yeah, this game he just he didn't go for Rose. He doubled into Albumola. So now he can go for Wish. That's understandable that he that he tried to make that play to like get his team back up with the Wish or something. But like, yeah, yeah he can try to Wish pass into Suicune, but it's not like Suicune wins this game. Like I said it like two times or so. He has to 
Poison Mandine and then Suikoden has a chance, but it's, he's not gonna allow that ever. Like Reiko is smart, like he's not gonna allow that for sure. Like I can bet. Protection is pretty nice to get the lefties recovery. Still not sure what the item is on a Zapdos. It definitely seems like an offensive Zapdos, like how um, he waved a good chunk to the Mungus and all that. So Lopan is gonna put in all the work with the Hazard Zap. He sacks this um, to the. F is it fake out or is it just gonna ice punch? Yeah, fake out. I assume Heracross lives a hit. Like some of these mods on speed pass, they obviously run HP investment because you get the speed passed from the speed boost Scully piece, so you can afford to run more um, AVs into bulk instead of speed. So yeah, Heracross is gonna be able to take one. And if he's if he's non bulky Gliscor, this will take a good chunk potentially, especially if he SDs up on the switch. I'm pretty sure there's SD three attacks or SD two attacks and substitute. But I think FD3 text makes more sense as they still didn't make a move yet. You just click wish here. What is that to think about? Not that it matters though. I mean, I don't want to sound rude or anything, but like, it gets annoying when the game goes on for so long, dude. Like, my narration has to suffer too from that because I record multiple games in a row. If the game is not exciting, it's just annoying. I mean, I can show you guys a color from like Lob Honey because they're not making a move. Lob Honey versus Mega Heracross returned us 46 to 55. If he's 112 in HP, which might be, he might have a bit more HP even. So it obviously doesn't kill. He just went hard crest, he didn't even wish. So you can see Raikou got rid of the Stealth Rock uh, setter, so he's gonna just defog the rocks away forever. I don't think this has Toxic in the last slot. Um, yeah, Raikou might have to switch here. He might have to switch. Because I don't think the last move is Toxic, but if the last move is Toxic, it's just not worth it for Raikou to let this get poisoned, because then the Coon can win like a set. So, I assume the last move is Psychic Step, but just in case it is Toxic, I would just go into Cell Stealer here and play it safe. Like, you're gonna be... I don't know, if he goes into Suicune later or something, you can defog then. Like, I can see that he's... maybe he's just... Bluffing the Toxic. Not really bluffing, like, he's just... he just sent this cross out. I don't know if he predicted the Manta to come out and he has Toxic on this. I don't think he did. So he SD'd up. Shake, uh, he was in the back, he kinda had to make some plays. He, if the if the lobby stayed in there, probably would have just popped him. But yeah, obviously he didn't stay in, which makes a lot of sense because you want to save the lobby. It's really nice in this game. Alfred does nothing, so he's gonna get blown out by a rock blast here. I mean, he lives one, but like that doesn't matter. Like he doesn't even get this into return range yet. But yeah, obviously if the Heracross switches out ever, it's in range. Um, no, fake out into fake out into. Frustration might kill. Yeah, yeah, if I go into Frustration, probably kills, so he's gonna go for that. It might be a roll if this Heracross has more HP than the Kalk Heracross that I ran. But if it's just the Kalk Heracross, it's definitely gonna kill with Fake Out into Frustration. And yeah, he's still thinking about this, okay. I mean, it's cool in the sense, yeah, he did 18%. Which is like around the low roll from this Heracross. So I assume he has some more bulk and the return does get the potential. I don't think it was a roll. I think that. I think that almost. I think that always kills. So he's gonna protect here to get the speed boost. Is he just gonna whirlwind this around? To not give the Manaphy a speed boost? Because if the Manaphy doesn't get a speed boost, the Lopony can always revenge it. With like fake out the high jump kick or something like that. He did just go for Luna Dance, okay, so he did not scout for the toxic. I mean it was pretty obvious that the last move was either like psychic step. I didn't even I completely forgot about Luna Dance, but 
if you think about it, it was quite obvious that it was like it was either psychic stack or lunar dance. They were basically the options. So he brought back his Herald Cross, he got up a substitute and this gonna kill the Garchon with a pin missile, that crit didn't matter, it would have killed anyway, it only got four hits. But yeah, this game is basically coming to an end now. He's gonna click Moonblast or Psychic here. I mean Psychic is fine. It would have done more to like Alamola, stuff like that. And Ladi is low anyway, so I can understand why he was Psychic. I think this Lily just wins on its own now. So he protected there, gets Wolverine into Zapdos. Uh, if this doesn't have Roost, I think Lopunny just wins now. Oh, but it has Roost, so okay, that's interesting. Um, he's just gonna Wolverine again. I don't think he's gonna allow this to set up a Tail Glow and he breaks it and just attacks. This uh, seems to be Spadef Scummery because that does absolutely nothing. This cannot come in again, it does to the uh, hazards next time. Harden to Lop when he predicting the protect. He's gonna protect again here on the fake out, obviously. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Lop is gonna pick up the win here. Um, unless the Zapdos is defensive, then maybe the Zapdos can still put in work. They still didn't move in this game. Gets up a Toxic and dies, so if the Zapdos has Roost, he can spam Roosty and actually win the game. Yeah, he has always shown Roost, what am I saying? He goes in the Mana Feet and activates the Citrus Berry, because I was about to say, if he doesn't have Citrus Berry, he would have been in range from High Jump Kick. Um, I'm pretty sure the HP investment that this Mana Feet has will probably allow it to take a High Jump Kick. And actually, wow, Shake and Wind is now, like, I think Shake has it actually, like, the, the Poison is really nice. I did not think he would have Toxic on his... Scully Pete. Maybe that was uh, um, pretty obvious and they carried it o more often on Baton Best teams, but I haven't really seen it in Baton Best teams, at least in the new gen. Toxic on Scully Pete. I don't know if it was different in RS. I can't really remember that well. He just stays in. And there's a Z move that might blow this away. Tectonic Rage. Oh, that makes sense. Because I was like. Earlier I was like thinking Earthquake only two gives stuff like Tren, but like after Rocks I assume Tectonic Rage Oko's Tren. I don't know if it kills from full. I just let it dies to Rocks now. Unless he defogs them away. Which he definitely can defog them away. His Mantan would get poisoned in the process, but I don't think it matters anymore because the Kuhn is already dead. I mean, this can live and go for a wish here. Um, no, that doesn't even help him. What do you mean? What am I? What am I saying? I don't know if he wants to double back and do like Heracross. Maybe I still don't understand why he didn't make a wolf earlier. What happened in the other game? Did he get a crit or something? Oh, he self crit. I don't know if it matters. I mean, Zapdos obviously wins the game now. He's just spamming Surf in case this goes for Whirlwind, so he. It's like he knows Surf is his best play, because if he tail goes on a Whirlwind, his man if he dies to hell, that's anyway. And yet he will kill the Skarmory and Shake wins 1 0. I'm not sure if that crit mattered. Uh, Zeptus was at 51%. How much would Ice Punch from Lopony do to that? Or re return, I mean. Yeah, if the Zeptus is defensive, it doesn't kill. So I have to calculate real quick. I assume it was offensive from how much the heal did to the Among Us. Yeah, yeah, it has to be offensive Zeptus. So if the Zeptus was just max HP, would Lopony have killed the Zeptus? Um, return would have been a roll if the Zeptus was max HP. And if the Zapdos had no bulk, Return would have always killed. So unfortunate Hex there might have mattered, might have not, depending on the spread. I probably could figure out the Zapdos set with Kalking a bit more. From how much it took from certain attacks. But I'm not going to do that now. 
because we still got this game going on even though they're taking forever and I probably would even have the time to count that at least those were the only two games like two games in one video is still fine that's still I'm still able to fit that into the thumbnail like four names four country flags and four Pokemon is, uh, is okay to fit in a thumbnail but like anything more than that is too much Hard Hero Cross, I mean the game is over. That was really weird. I think, yeah, I think he predicted the double switch. I think he predicted the double switch into... into Celestia maybe? Because Celestia can get burned and the uh, Mola can retouch it. But I don't think it mattered at, I don't think it mattered at that point. Yeah, the game was actually kind of close at the end because Heracross could have put in some work if he got the Celestia on a double. Especially if the like the Celestia doesn't have flame throw. I think he showed substitute with his Heracross. Did he? He did show substitute with his Heracross, and the thing is paralyzed. So if he gets up a sub, I don't know if Heavy Slam would break the sub. He could also get paralyzed. So Sarkis could have actually brought that game back. It was not. Like, the entire time I thought it was completely in Reiko's favor, but at the end it was looking kind of close. But I thank you guys for watching, I'm gonna end it here. I just wanna find out real quick which um, team Shaq's opponent is on, and then I'm gonna end it. Yeah, the next game started, so I'm not gonna find out, because I'm gonna miss another game, so I'll record that now. Thank you guys for watching, and yeah, peace out friends, hope you all enjoyed, even though the game was long, holy cow.